Uh, welcome to Gold Market Update and Chance of the Day for today, Friday the 12th of May with Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Gold Markets. I hope you're well and I'm sure you're looking forward to the weekend. But before we get there, let's just have a look at what's happening in markets today. Of course, overnight we had another mixed session on Wall Street. Tech outperformed again and the Nasdaq was the only index in positive territory. Dow and the S&P 500 closing slightly down despite that softer US PPI number, which one would have thought would have been quite well received by markets. However, the debt ceiling narrative is increasing as that June the 1st deadline, as outlined by the Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen, gets closer. That market uncertainty is undoubtedly going to uh, get worse as that date gets near. US futures, however, are trading higher in Asian trading. Asian markets are mixed in early trading as well. ASX is trading near neutral. Uh, just below when we last looked at around about 0.2% of the downside. European futures are, however, pointing to a mildly positive open and the VIX is still sitting just below that 19 level. US dollar had a better day yesterday and bounced off support. Looks as though a test of an upper end of a short term range is possible. And gold consequently on that USD strength pulled down. But appears to have found short term support around about the 2015 level. It's up very mildly in Asian trading so far. Copper dropped through its year to date lows and has 6% down for the week. And oil pulled back to follow the commodity drop from its short-term range top and could actually make its way down to retest the lows we were talking about uh, a couple of weeks ago. Bitcoin also looks precariously balanced just above the support at 27,000. Testing that in this morning's trading and of course US earnings continue we are at the back of the earnings season with only about 10% of the S&P 500 left to report. Today we have in Australian consumer confidence New Zealand inflation expectations both out already. Uh, there's a flurry of UK data out this afternoon. The GDP is the highlight. And tonight we have US consumer confidence and five-year inflation expectations from the University of Michigan also due out. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. Let's start with aristocrat leisure. We talked about this at our live update yesterday uh, as a potential breach of a resistance at 38.10. It was a bit slow to start today, but we are now seeing some follow-through and this looks pretty good to go forward to. And you can see if we put it on a weekly chart, we've got a potential move up to around about this 4190 level uh, that could be on the cards. So aristocrat leisure worth some consideration, perhaps. In the FX market, the Aussie dollar is looking a little weak again after an OK sort of start. Uh, you can see here against the yen, we are moving down and may test this low from yesterday of around about 89.97 so watch for a bridge of 90 cents on this if we do take this out i'll be probably looking for the opportunity if these wicks are blown because that would also tie in with key levels here could be the way forward if it reaches 89.84 then we've got a fairly clear run uh, possibly down around about 45 pips to 89.34 as a possibility so one to keep an eye on over the next few hours for sure. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.